For this example of multi-beam imaging sonar, let's take a look at navigating towards a potential point of interest. The first thing we need to do is decrease our sonar range here. That'll give us a better view on our sonar display and not waste any space. Now, as we approach that corrugated retaining wall, we're gonna slowly lower our sonar and camera angle so that we can hopefully have those beams scrape the seafloor and reveal any kind of interesting objects we might wanna find here. Same as before, we're now going to decrease our range yet again so that we fill up more of that sonar display with usable data because there's no reason to have all of that extra wasted space there at the top. These acoustic waves do not penetrate hard surfaces like x-rays, so anything above that bright corrugated retaining wall there on our sonar display is just noise. Now, at the bottom of our sonar display, sometimes you'll notice a bit of a black area. What this is, is a blind spot, and it goes from the bottom edge of the sonar to directly in front of the ROV, essentially making a right angle triangle. Now that we have our point of interest centered on our center line, we can slowly lower the ROV and flatten out the camera and sonar angle in order to mitigate and reduce that blind spot. Now that we've touched the bottom, we can put our sonar view into pop-up, drive a little bit forward, and even in low visibility waters, we are able to find our point of interest just like that. I hope today's sonar example was helpful for you. My name is Chris Tenuta, the technical trainer here at DeepTrekker, and as always, happy piloting.